Well, hello all you YouTubers out there. Hope you're doing well today. Today, we're going to go over some advanced techniques. It's be uh, the first uh, four videos were start to finish on making a simple walking stick for the beginner. And it was designed as such. And here it is. We, we did this in the first four videos. And you see, we just... Uh, Whittled a little bit out on that end, on each end, matter of fact. And uh, for all practical purposes, we have completed a walking stick from start to finish, taking the bark off and such, part one, and then we prepared it for the finish. And then part, part um, three or four, I don't know, one of them, we showed you how to do the epoxy coating on the outside. And what that does, if there's any small cracks, that'll fill those up with epoxy, keep them from growing, and it also waterproof this stick to where it'll last for many years. Now, we're going to get into the advanced embellishments. I'm going to show you how to put a tip, what, how I do that and what I use. You go to about any hardware store and you pick up these copper sweat fittings. This happens to be one inch and I pick up some one and a quarter and one and a half inch just to have them on hand for when I get ready. And as you can see, when you get a stick done, that end is gonna more fit that one inch. So it's it almost goes on there. So that's the one we'd wanna use. This one here you see is way too loose for a bigger stick. So what we're gonna do is Prepare this one a little bit, and I'll show you how to get it properly attached on the end of your stick. First of all, we're going to bring it over to your vise and chuck it up just a little bit. I like to take a couple blocks of wood and put it out in between it so it don't scar the outside edge, which wouldn't be the end of the world, but it's uh, something you might not want to do. And just Chuck that up in there. Get it down there far enough to where you won't collapse the uh, the tubing at all. And if you get if you get chucked up down and make that level with your wood, shouldn't have any problems. You don't have to get it chucked real tight. And then of course, if you can, now's the time to take a label off. So we'll peel this back. That's not too bad. Now what I want to do is take this just a regular bastard file and and I want to rough that up just file across it so as to make just straight V grooves in that level all the way across as you can you're just scratching it up to where it won't be real slick it'll get it get you some grip in the Get it roughed up on the bottom and seesaw that back and forth and make sure the cut or the groove goes all the way across. So just file away and get her dug in there pretty good. Now see how those grooves go in this way. I'm going to turn that device so they go the other way and I'll get groove it just a little bit more and then we'll get it get it placed where we want it. We want to rough that up pretty good. So now I've got, you can see some nice screws in that bottom. So let's take it back over to the bench where the stick is and we'll get this fitted up. Okay, I got this coping saw and uh, got it on the bench. I can hold it pretty secure. I got it and there's my mark a three-quarter mark and kind of get it squared up with the way it comes off the stick here as much as possible and that's not really critical because you're going to be in pretty deep with your with your copper fitting so i'm going to just saw it off right there you could do this on a band saw if you want but i need the exercise so i'm cutting it off with this coping saw a lot of control there and uh, and we'll cut it right off
Okay, there it is. Got a pretty good surface there. And if we can look down there now, and we'll be able to see to get a good firm fit on the inside of that. Okay, here, what I'm gonna do is I'll hold this down on here like this to get a mark as how far I want that to, uh, I want to uh, work on this to get that to fit. So I'll put me a groove right there to start with. And uh, I'll just make a nice groove started all the way around it and just hold your knife or your blade just about even and go all the way around holding it just as just make a square square cut around it and right here the same way we're going to go around this and then we'll see how well we did when we come over and get them together okay now we take a rasp file because it's not going to slip on there but we're going to have enough to peel off where we get it to fit right so we just take a wood rasp make sure you stay on that scratch mark and you'll be all right go all the way around it Now I've cut that groove all the way around there, and you can look at the end of it. Let's see if you can see it there. But see, it's kind of oval shaped this way. So I want to start rasping off here to get it round to fit. This looks like a radius is going around real well, but it's, it's coming out this way. So I'm going to start rasping up in this area to get that down to where it'll slip on there and you'll find out what that looks like it's more of a circle after you get some of that down and you keep looking and keep fitting and we're good but we gotta gotta have a little more so and you keep watching now once you get that to fit there you'll know what what to take off so let's flare that back into there a little bit. And keep this going. So we got a nice little radius there. Let's just line in the line of woodworking. And uh, I make a lot of these to give away and uh Anything special, I, I may take a donation or, or whatever I can get because I like doing it and it's my hobby and it's going to stay that way. Everybody said, why don't you get in a flea market or otherwise, you know, that'd be a job then. You have to get ready and go out and get all your stuff set up and all that. So why go to all that? Now, what I can do let me get a mallet. I got it close there. What I'm going to do now, hold that in my hand, and I'm going to hit it lightly with a mallet, and we'll take a look and see how that's going on there. That is driving on there. Right now, if that was the same way all the way down, we could pound it right on down. But if you look at the end of it, now we can see that's, that's a pretty pretty round surface right there out on just that end you can see that there's a little more that has to come off right there and you can see that groove now I'll take my uh, rasp and I'll start knocking that down into the same surface as this which will leave me perfectly round and I can tap it right on there so let's get that little bit off of there So we'll square that up like this. And we'll 
get her back. Get her back level all the way around and just kind of eat that. Make you a nice square surface for that to go up against is what you want now. And we've seen that, that it needed to go down. It was fitting right in this area pretty tight. Now let's slide it on again. Okay, now we got it. It's touching all the way around. You can see that it's touching all the way around here. Some of this has to come off. So we're gonna taper that down. So hold it right down on the table. And let's get the cut in here. And I can show you. I'm going to taper that back into here some, so because you want to taper that right down to where it fits on that surface. I'm going to take too much off, so you want to watch it. There got to be a little bit more off of this. And then you just twist it off and keep measuring and looking and, until you get it. But that wood raft takes it off pretty quick. So now we've slid up on there and we're, we've got a pretty good fit all the way around. Now right here where we file that down, we're gonna have to uh, restain and put a little more uh, epoxy finish on it. Now I can go a little bit deeper right around here because, let me turn this around. You can see this way, I want that where you can see the edge of that copper all the way around. And that gives you a pretty good fit on there. So we'll, we'll just do a little bit more off of this area right here. Now remember, this is rough with the file. So what I'm gonna do is take some 150 sandpaper and hit that with 150 again to get ready to, to stain it and, uh, and put some more finish on it. This right now is just about where we want it. It slides right on there real nice and we can glue it down and it's going to be right snug up against that. So let's get that set up and we'll we'll get that on and take a look. Get a little 150 out here. After we get that finished we'll come back and we'll finish this up. When you have just a little bit of an area to cover, I use CA glue. And what I do is just put it on there, just a little drop of that, and that'll put a clear coat on that that matches the rest of your epoxy. And let it run down a little bit. Mark it with your finger. Spread it just a little like that with your rubber glove. And then... Put you a little spray on it. And it's done. Now, if it don't shine quite like you think it should, you can put another little drop on it and rub that in, and uh, which builds up the coat just a little bit in that area. And... Uh, Hit it with some accelerator, and you pretty well got it. Now it's ready to slip that on there. Now I'll tell you what, by using this method, we're ready to put some CA glue in this head. I don't put accelerator on it because i got to stick it in there and move it around. So I'm going to put some of this CA glue. That fits very well. So I'm going to put some of that in here in my copper fitting. And then I'm going to go around and I'm going to put a little bit right around in here, all the way around. I got some CA glue then all the way around and I'm going to get the air out of it. Now, now I can take this and slip it right on there and get it right there where I want it. And that is where I want it there. That is on there. When that CA, it squeezed a little bit of it out there. So you can now get a little accelerator on it. 
that's not coming off of there. So you've got a good and secure on there, and you've got a nice looking tip that you've uh, you've got on your walking cane now, and that's roughed up a little so it don't it don't it's not really slick on the end. Now one more thing I told you that I was gonna tell you about uh, that uh, I do sometimes, and I like this on mine. Take you a penny. And especially if this is somebody else, maybe find their birth date, penny with their, their birth date on it, or uh, somebody's retard, maybe the retard uh, retirement date, uh, which I did here. This is 2010. But what I do, while I got that CA glue out, I want to, depending on what I want, heads or tails, I want my head showing. So I'll put a little... I'll put a little CA right there on that. Right there. On that uh, on that penny. And uh, now I'll put the accelerator right on the end of the, the stick here. I'll put that down right there. And then I'll stick that penny right there on that. And it's going to stay there until the Here's a little accelerator. Now we've got that embellished. The end of it. You got a penny with a special date on the end of it, depending on who you're doing it for. But that'll stay on there forever. And that gives it just a little extra touch of, uh, of uniqueness there. And uh, you can, you've already got it roughed up on the end, so it, it really holds that penny on there good especially using the CA glue and the accelerator. And uh, I'm pretty well, we're pretty well done with this embellishment. Now, what we're going to do is let you take a good look at that end. That's got the penny on it. It's got 2010 on this one, but you can use any date you want, of course. You can have a darker penny or uh, just uh, use your imagination for that. But you see, we've got a real good fit on the end of that stick now, round all the way around. We don't have any gaps in it. And all you have to do is just kind of travel up the stick a little bit to get one, get your ring to fit. So other than that, the next video, we're going to do a surprise thing for this end, more embellishment for the same stick. But not going to spoil that. You just watch the next uh, part. Will be part uh, four. This is five. Part six for the advanced embellishments. And I'll see you in the next video.